James has got the coin, Andrew's going to call. Tails is the call. It is a tail. I reckon you're going to have a bowl. We're going to have a bowl, yeah. Yeah, when we got here about an hour ago, it was uh, about an inch and a half deep in grass and emerald green. It's now sort of traffic light coloured. Yeah, it's pretty green, um, live grass as well, so, you know, the first uh, session is going to be key. I think it'll be good for batting on as well. Um, I think it'll go through nicely, but I think it'll seem around early doors. Now, congratulations on winning the county championship. That was all done and dusted at Lords last week, but you've got uh, some other records in mind as well, haven't you? Yeah, um, we want to go for the most points. I think it's 261 or 62, so I think we're about 16 points off that. So um, two games left, we can still break them records. Uh, any of your England players playing today? They haven't made it down from Old Trafford? No, unfortunately not. Um, it would have been too quick a turnaround, really. All the kit were in Leeds as well, so um, we didn't want to get them travelling down. Uh, a day tinged with sadness for Yorkshireman. Brian Close uh, died uh, last night. Former captain of Yorkshire, of course. Four county championships he captained the county to. Uh, your thoughts about that? Yeah, he's a legend. It's, it's a sad day to see him pass away. Um, you know, he's been around at Head and the certainly through my career and spoke to the lads and he's been an inspiration as well so um, you know we're, we're proud to win back-to-back -back championships um, but it's a, a sad day for Yorkshire cricket today. A little bit of added inspiration if you need it to go out and try and win this game. Exactly. Andrew have a good game. Game finishing late on Saturday and travelling down here yesterday. Yeah! Gone. Just a thin edge and had to go so it's only a matter of time it's just taken a lot longer than Yorkshire would have liked. Carberry's resistance finally undone by a good full ball from Brooks that's just gone across him, seemed to touch. 74 for one. Really good bowling from Brooks. I remember the delivery that swung down the leg side. In fact, I think that, that delivery was aimed to be an in-swinger as well. Carberry played for it to come back into him, but it just held its line, was full enough to take the edge, and finally Yorkshire have the breakthrough. Carberry goes for 28, Hampshire 74 for one. Yeah. Bold him just through the gate as uh, Vince goes to try and push that down the ground. Would have been better on reflection, just trying to play a forward defensive to it, but a double breakthrough now for Yorkshire, just what they wanted. Well, this is a little bit more of what we'd have expected given the conditions here today. James Vince looking to play on the up. Really would have been better employing the tactics of his two opening bowlers, opening batsmen, sorry, playing that dead bat shot. The gate was opened up and Bresnan was through it. Vince has gone for three. Hampshire 77 for two. Out. End of Adams. Just guided gently to first slip. Patterson picks up his first wicket, and Hampshire have lost their third. Mm, ball has just started to swing as opposed to seam. It's seam movement that we've seen for the most part, but just a bit of swing from Patterson in the last over or two. That nipped a bit as well. And uh, Jimmy Adams, who's played pretty well, had a struggle all season, but uh, got 100 recently and played well here today as well. But just never feel in on a pitch like this on a day like this no matter how long you're back you know there's always going to be a decent ball around the corner 52 for him 122 193. long discussion between uh, captain and uh, and senior bowler that was a look you employed once or twice wasn't it, it was a headband was it an alice band you used to wear at Gork both headband and alice band Another big shout, and that time, this time, Peter Hartley raises the finger, and Will Smith has to go, and I'm not sure he's particularly happy about it. Well, you never know with Will Smith whether he gives anything away. He always got this little smirk on his face, uh, but it's one of those deliveries where, really, it's a little bit of luck for the bowler. Jack Brooks. Oh, leg side delivery, good take from uh, Andrew Hodd down the leg side and uh, delight for Brooks and for Yorkshire they needed the wicket so it's Will Smith who goes to 46 Hampshire 181 for four two three three that's gone up he's off I thought he was off scratch no I think he's off three 
Ball stumped now. He's off the field. Nice bit of work from Hard and well bowled by uh, Middlebrook. Herman just walking past one. It was a strange dismissal, really. He was looking to be aggressive, then ended up doing nothing. But he's gone for 43. Yeah, he was uh, trying to get down to uh, Middlebrook. Mm. It's a good catch or a good take from uh, Hod because he was uh, blinded a little bit by the way that Turvine came down the crease. So Yorkshire get uh, their first wicket today. Irvine goes for 43, Hampshire now 305 for five. Rain. Oh, it's going straight up in the air. And a comfortable catch. We're to pulling out of the shot. I don't know whether it was a slower ball from Brooks, but it's completely deceived Wheater, who was looking to pull that away on the leg side, stopped his shot and just lobbed a catch to Gale. Well, I think it is a slower ball, and it's uh, excellent from uh, Brooks. He knows that... Uh, Wheater has come in to try and be aggressive. And you're right, just pulls out of it. Tries to, in the end, just try and work it out or work it through the leg side. He'll be happy. It's another wicket. Bowled well this season for Yorkshire Brooks. His third of the innings. Wheater's little brisk innings comes to end. He goes to seven, 320 for six. Taken, low down, good catch, diving forward. And at last... Matthew Fisher has a, a wicket. It's uh, not before time. He's bowled very well. Figures of 1 for 47 in 23 overs. You can see the smile of delight on his face. He's not going to tell anybody it was a high full toss and it was caught mid-on. Yeah, brilliant stuff from Fisher. By far and away the worst delivery he's bowled over the course of two days. Doesn't matter, says... One wicket in the book. Nicely caught low down by uh, Jack Leaning. A grin as broad as his accent. The crown grows for 23. 368 for 7. Oh, that's high in the air. Hodds underneath it. Hod takes it. Reward for Middlebrook. We'll have a lot, lot of ground to uh, haul that one in. And finally, Liam Dawson's excellent innings and 140 comes to an end. Yeah, it's a nice piece of bowling. I think Middlebrook saw him coming a little bit shorter down the leg side. There were three men out as well, so he was connected to the danger zone. Odd takes a, a simple catch and... Terrific round of applause for Liam Dawson. He's made his highest score of the season, 140. Highest score on this ground in first-class cricket this year. Nick on that, so that is uh, the end of Stevenson. Bit of venom in that delivery from Fisher, and there is the declaration. So Hampshire get uh, four batting bonus points. Yorkshire pick up a maximum three bowling bonus points. And Hampshire lead by 400, and now they've got to do the business of bowling Yorkshire out as quickly as possible to pick up another three bowling bonus points. Look at shared around. Brooks has had a, an excellent season, has continued this game. Three for 97, two for Fisher. Perhaps feels he could have got uh, two or three more the way he bowled. He bowled better than that. Patterson with one, Bresnan with one, and a couple for the spin of James Middlebrook. Now, I remember walking off at a, a break there with my ears more than ringing. Short arm pull, that's what the shot he can play when he's back on the, on his stumps like that. It's plenty of time to see the ball. Hit it nicely. Yeah, it's a really good shot from uh, Gary Balance. The key really is, yeah, he's going to be back in his crease. That's the way he plays. The key is keeping that head forward. Keeping the weight of your head in front of your feet. A little bit of weird meat and drink to balance. Nothing more than a push, but the ball has raced away. Nicely timed through extra cover.
you again really see Gary Balance making a huge effort to get his head out so that he can then play the ball underneath his eyes. He's not making a huge stride forward. He's never going to do that. But if you get that transfer of weight correct, you can play the ball underneath your eye line and punch it away. Check drive through the offside. Not risking anything too flashy. He'll pick up four. Yeah, excellent opener's shot from Alex Lees. Ball's over pitch, but waited for it to be right up underneath him before he attempted the drive. And even then, it was just a little punch, really. Nothing flamboyant or extravagant. That's more like it. It's exactly what is, uh, as we were saying earlier, his technique is set up really for short and wide. Missed out an over or two ago. He won't miss out this time. Both been very patient, the left handers, just waiting for scoring opportunities. 50 up. Well, he's been in good touch, Tim Bresnan, throughout the year with the bat. And he's off the mark now with a boundary. 66 for four. Yeah, I think we'll have to get Dominic Cork to give us a precise position of the sun. After his performance this morning, saying it um, rose in the east, which is pretty good. Fidel Edwards back into the attack from the pavilion end and serves up a nice juicy half volley that uh, Alex Lees puts away. Cloud thickening from, from the uh, southeast as. Uh, well, that's uh, flashed away by Bresnan, not bothering to run. He knows he's got enough on that to get it for four. First boundary of the morning. Yeah, it's the balance between watchfulness when the bowlers are on target, still retaining that attitude that you're going to have a, a dart at anything that's not. Just has the propensity to bowl an awful delivery among some really good ones, Ryan McLaren. We saw him yesterday bowl one, almost a Steve Harmison ball, four wides down the leg side. Holidays. Peter Hartley coming. I don't know whether it's uh, to check the light again or he just wants to move over. No, he's going to check the light, I think. It's getting uh, noticeably darker by the second. And... Uh, they're going to go off. They took a reading last night, and that will um, act as a benchmark. And it's obviously got to that level now on the light meter, and uh, the umpires being consistent will take the players off the field. Sunglasses on, James Vince. They weren't light enhancers at all. They were just sunglasses. Well, uh, unfortunately, we think this is, well, we thought this was going to be inevitable. It was going to rain anyway. But now, the bad light preceding uh, what may turn out to be some heavy rain. Try and get the play going, keep it going. But comes a point when it becomes just a little too murky, and we've reached that point now. With Yorkshire on 97 for four, Lees has gone under 37. Bresnan, 12 not out. 